Welcome back to Whiskey Wonder Woman. It's mystery box day. So, we have a mystery whiskey in this box. And I have to figure out if it's top shelf or bottom shelf. I also have to guess if it's over 50 or under 50. Which I think I've been doing okay because <laughs> most of the whiskeys have been under $50. But we'll see what's in this one. Okay. This one is actually pretty light, so maybe it's like a small bottle. It's actually pretty dark compared to a lot of the other whiskeys that have been in this mystery box. Oh. I think this one's a bourbon. It has a very fragrant leather note. Okay, now I'm getting some type of grain. But I don't know if it's corn. It doesn't smell like corn to me. This is actually really tough because um, I really thought it was bourbon, but the green, um, I honestly cannot tell. I can't tell what this green is. I'm starting to wonder if this might be a rye because it's so fragrant um, and grainy. And also the color is darker. But don't let looks fool you. All right, let's go in for the taste. spicy um I think that's a rye I wasn't prepared for that <laughs> it's a burp oh I just came back up <laughs> oh god I'm like shaking because I wasn't prepared for that <sighs> immediate burn in my throat um so it has to be a high proof or maybe it's just a terribly bottom shelf. I don't know. Ha! Huh. Oh my god, this is so... What is the word? It, it's so harsh. It is so harsh. Um... There's no mellowing at all. I'm wondering if this is actually bottom shelf whiskey. Holy moly. Ah, it was so astringent. I'm so baffled by this right now. I, I have no idea what it is. Guys, I'm struggling. I'm struggling real hard. Um, man, if this is a top shelf whiskey, <laughs> I have some serious questions. Because um, where the heck is the flavor? And it's just straight burning. If this is like bottom shelf, like bourbon or like a rye, um, Maybe it's not bad, but I, I can't, it's, I don't think it's a sipper. This needs to be mixed because I am struggling to sip it. I'm even scared to do my next sip. Whew. It 
it's so bitter. Oh God. Oh. It is super, 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 super bitter. Um, it's like I ate grapefruit. The color's throwing me off because I'm thinking that it's like either a rye or that it's older. I can't tell you what's in this box. I am super stumped. So I literally just have to guess based on how I'm feeling, which is not that great. Um, I'm gonna go bottom shelf. And I'm gonna go under 50 because there's no way in hell that is a top shelf sipper. There, it can't be. I, I would be highly upset if it is. <gasps> no, 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 I cannot say that about Green River. No, 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 no. I am, I am totally biased about Green River, so for me to say this about Green River, I am upset. Holy moly. Um, first of all, this is the bottle. It is, first of all, I totally failed. <laughs> it's Green River Foolproof at 117, and it is $60. Man, I love Green River too. Okay, hold on, what is this? This is a foolproof bourbon. Oh my God, I said it was bourbon at first and then I changed my mind. Green River foolproof, it's a small batch of select barrels blended and bottled at barrel strength. Okay, that's why it is so high, spicy and hot. I am literally sweating right now. I, that's how high the proof is. It offers a robust flavor profile that can be enjoyed neat on the rocks or in your favorite cocktail. I mean, I think I need it in a cocktail because it's super bitter. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go on the website to see what the notes are because I failed at them. I didn't pick up any notes whatsoever. But um, let me do one more sip because I can't let Green River down and I hope they never see this video. It's, it's, uh, it's bitter. It's bitter and spicy, guys. Okay, the mash bill is 70% corn, 21% rye. Okay, so I did pick up the rye. I wasn't wrong. There is a good percentage of rye and 9% of malted barley. I am sweating. I am so hot from this. Okay, tasty notes. Full of warming spice. I definitely got that part because... It is spicy. Vanilla, caramel, and chocolate coated peppermints. Okay, I could... <laughs> is that what the bitterness is? Peppermints with chocolate? With aromatic notes of cinnamon, dry cherry, and light leather. Okay guys, I don't think I was far off from these notes. I just had the bitter version of them, not technically the sweet version of them um because warming spice spicy um kind of having some heartburn right now i didn't really get vanilla or caramel let's see if i could smell it okay i can smell some caramel i actually can smell some cherry um the chocolate coated peppermints. <laughs> That's probably what the bitterness is. <laughs> Mixed with some dry cherry and light leather. Probably that bitterness at the end. Uh, deep golden amber is the color. Lingering and rich. Lingering and spicy. I don't think I was off from these tasty notes. Um, my honest opinion. I really like Green River. This is my first time having their foolproof 
obviously. And you know who brought it back to life? Artstown Company. And they're thriving because they're putting out some good stuff. And I think on their website, I saw that you could go to the distillery and bottle, um, I think like a, let me see. Let me fact check myself before I just blur stuff out. Yeah, visit us, book a tour. They have a cocktail class, barrel thieving, distillery tour, sit and sip. And yeah, you have the single barrel distillery tour. I was right. Each guest will receive a cash drank single barrel bottle. I wasn't wrong. With a Glen Karen glass, 125 per person. Um, honestly, I don't think that's too bad because you get the whole tour experience plus you get to bottle the cash drink bottle. Yep. Um, so I totally bombed this episode. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you have had this bottle yet because, um, the proof is really high. It is super warm and spicy. Um, the rye notes definitely show in this bottle. <laughs> I'm still, I think I have heartburn. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next mystery box bottle. Cheers.